coffee reviews with uh, Demario and Mike. Yo. And we're at this really nice place. It's called Papagalino. It's a nice Greek restaurant and bakery. And we're here in uh, Niles on Milwaukee Avenue on this street here. And the crossroads is that street. I don't know. But um, the address is right below, as typical. But anyways, this place has amazing Greek pastries. The Greek spinach pie is out of this world. Um, the bugatta, other Greek foods, it's, they're good. Um, the Bugatta is the best one. I've been talking so much Greek food yeah. here, it's not even funny. But we're not here for the pastries. We're here for one thing and one thing only, that is the coffee. This drink here that we have is a really popular drink in Greece. It's actually called the Iced Fredo Espresso. The Iced Fredo Espresso. Now, what is in the Iced Fredo Espresso? Well, they have two shots, and this one in particular, two shots of espresso. And then also, they have this foam-based milk that they put on top of it as well, as you can see here. And they shake it up, they froth it up, make it look really nice, and here you go. So this is pure coffee, to say the least. Oh yeah. This is a big competitor with the Greek ice frappe drink, but this is the Fredo. So, um, let's see what we think. Let's do here. it. And the big thing, too, compared to with the iced uh, frappe drink, compared to the Fredo, is like I said with the Fredo, it actually has two shots of espresso. With the frappe, it's more coffee grinds that you grind up and mix together, but this is just the pure, unadulterated, just beautiful espresso. So we can't wait to try this. So now let's try it. All right. All right. One sip that everyone sip. knows the rules. Yep, here we go. Opa! <laughs> I thought that was not expecting the sweetness. I thought it was going to be like the hard stuff. It's kind of like the Greek coffee. Like I was not expecting that sweetness. This is fantastic. Huh. And we did ask him to make it a little sweet. If you don't like it sweet. Oh, that's good. He doesn't need to put any sugar in the barista yeah. or anything. But we did. We have a bit of a sweet tooth. So we asked for some. Wow. This is like the smoothest way to get a good yeah. kick in your step. Like you don't need like a frappuccino. Like if you want coffee. Like this is, this is it. The coffee, it's um, it's right. strong. I mean, you can really taste the espresso shot. You really get it's like smooth too. Yeah, it's like very smooth. Like the there's no bitter, like the bitter yeah. aftertaste. Yeah. Like and like then it. this cold foam that they top it off with. Oh my god, this is like to die for. You know, let me get some of just the foam. Yeah. I don't want to have FOMO. Nice, it's good. That's nice. And uh, I don't know, um, the guy behind us there, he's the one that actually made the coffee. Yeah. Um, he's, yeah, no, he's he did a good job, and he's a really nice guy, by the way. Yeah. This is good. No, this was excellent. So, I mean, are you guys ready to review? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, man. Alright. It's just breaking the 8 mark for me. I'm gonna go 8-1. Um, pretty much just what everyone said. It's a strong coffee, but it's sweet at the same time. It's a per perfect mix, not too bitter, not too sweet. It's really gonna like uh, make you feel like you're in Santorini, you know? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. This is good. This is really good. This is really good. My, the question for me, what it comes down to is, <clears throat> am I willing to travel for this cup of coffee? Am I willing to do that? Um, and this is really pretty authentic Greek iced coffee. This is what's popular. Yeah. Here. So this is taking on that ice Greek frappe. You know what? In popular. I'm willing to say, I'm definitely willing to travel for this coffee. 8.2. 8.2. This is a very solid coffee. Like, I feel like I will have the pick me up. I've been kind of tired all day. This is like exactly what I need to get me through. And it's a little sweet. Not too much to where I think I'm just drinking sugar, but this is yeah. the stuff. This is the stuff. So refreshing. Another reason I really love this place before I do the rating is because look at the outside dining area right there. If you guys want to move just for a second. You see all those chairs, all the stuff. You can eat inside, you can eat outside. There's a restaurant there that's attached. There's a bakery. You can bring your baked goods out here with the coffee and just chill as if it's a Starbucks. This is really like a, a taste of Greece, kind of. The Greeks, they'd love to be at the cafeneos, the cafes, to hang out, to chill. You have Greeks owning this place, Greeks working here. You have authentic Greek food, cuisine, Greek coffee. Um, this is really good. 
overall, um, I give this one um, as well. This is an eight one. This is one of the best coffees in the area. Yeah. Um, they've done a very good job. After we make after. Yeah, it's this is this is lit. This is really good. Highly recommend it. If you guys are within 20 minutes, even 30 minutes, and you want a good cup of coffee, good pastries, and a place to actually hang out, Papagalino is the place to come to. Destination. No, this is a destination spot. Yeah. Very nice. No. Dedicate this to all my Greek family. This one's for you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm Alex. Mike. Mario. And this is Once a Coffee. Seven.